two randoms out of the party. Or out of the game, I should say. And then hopefully we can get this anticipated match between 30th and I believe their full name is Rebel. I will double check with that. So this is for the CCL League match. Ooh, and Death or Wookie actually got a kill. And it gets dropped from all four sides. And Death in 3D goes down as well with the stupid gun. They're all teabagging him, which is great. That was funny to witness. again hopefully we're trying to make these idiots quit because I think they're just trolls being stupid because as you can see rebel is on their side that's why 30th is all spawned in Should be a good match if we can actually get it underway tonight. And they have not given up. Rebel killing himself there. Not sure what that was about. Well, we've not managed to get either gone, so I'm just gonna keep the stream going today. I'm just waiting on word whether we're gonna be switching servers or not.
exactly sure how this dude's getting hit. Oh, there we go. I was about to watch it. Um. All right, we're going to give this one more go, folks, and then we might either be completely off or switching servers. Neither have left. This is why we don't like trolls and why we need RSP. <sighs> I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I, I definitely appreciate 30th and Rebel for trying to get this match to go tonight. Thank them for moving the time. Your favorite streamer here. Trying to keep it up. Oh. Well, it looks like 30th are just going to keep kicking the shit out of these guys. We're going to go watch Rebel blow themselves up because we're going to have fun with this. No, actually what we're going to do is watch this idiot here who spawned in go get killed. Oh, and this douchebag here. They won't be getting and here's this douchebag again. Nope. Where did this bag go? Nobody knows. And he's really gonna run with a pistol, okay. Oh no, he's running with his MP something. I'm not sure which one, I forget. A little tired here, but. Oh! Papa Joe gets douchebag number one. And douchebag number two is just not even spawning. <laughs> Douchebag 1 and Douchebag 2 are back in the game together. Oh, Douchebag 1 go down. Now will Douchebag number 2 go down? That's Douchebag number 1 over there. The Wookiee guy, not the Rebel guy. Oh, and Douchebag number 2 go down. Douchebag number two is up. What a sniper! Oh. Well, we 
got a little bit of a battle going on. But it didn't last long, but there was a couple dog tags. They're throwing that. Here comes douchebag number one in the house. No, he's actually on the outside. He's gonna lay there like a bitch. I'm surprised he's honestly not running an AT boys. As you can clearly see. Douchebag number one is in the building. Have we lost douchebag number two? No, we have not. They're on top because they've died less than everybody else. That's because that's shocking. Bag number one is in the building. And Smexy Bean gets them. And the two bags going on. Bag number one goes down. I think they just enjoy getting get killed as troll. Oh no, maybe it's like their thing to die trying to troll. I mean, they probably probably have this sh his KD up all the time. Apologize because it, it looks clearly like we are not going to have this match. And douchebag number one goes down. Douchebag number two clearly can't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> Catch the reference. Albeit it was the broad side of a house. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it looks like we actually might have this going tonight.
Next match is a go. Next map is officially a go. Just got the word, which is the bird. Bird is the word. Right there. Trying to lively it up. Ain't happening much. Gonna be a knife fight to the finish. Bayonet charges, knives, Lewis guns, Bren, stands, everything in between. Everybody that Jesus. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are a go. 30th versus Rebel. This is what happens when you don't have RSP. We would have been started 12, about 30 minutes ago. But we are officially here now. It is seven straight rounds, including the new map, which is not a burn round. This is a... An... Both sides of the table clash. I mean, both teams are middle of the table, I would say. I'm not exactly sure where 30th is at the moment because we haven't had an updated league table yet this week. So, I would say about mid-table for both sides. This should be quite interesting. And in an actual fact, this is the new map. This will be great to watch. Because this will be the first league match I have on this map. Ooh, and it doesn't look like there will be any good. Oh, no, I can do it. Okay, this this is trial and error here, folks. I've only played this map mm, three, four times at the most, but I, I find it very enjoyable. Lots of great places to flank. Very difficult to keep a triple cap. This is one point here, as you can see. B is... Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, definitely didn't plan that. I believe B is here. Or here. I forget exactly where. And then A is over here. So, we got Rebel in blue. We got 30th in red. Here we go on Maratha. This is going to be good. There's B. It is the front house as I thought it would be. And they're going to go with a sniper. Interesting choice on this particular map. On Conquest, it's great to snipe. But I found it relatively difficult to snipe on squad. Oh, wow. Rebel are actually going to gamble and go with two snipers. And it looks like Rebel are going to be strongest to Bravo initially, but they might get cornered here. Great smoke by Thick Angles, and here come the two snipers. Oh, and a bayonet charge from Rebel. Clears Thick Angles out. Oh no, it wasn't Thick Angles, it was Duck. I apologize there. 
but 30th have just maintained the point with the revive so this looks like this is where it's all gonna go down on this map for both teams 30th got two people holding the flank Abraham has moved on Botard is gonna go after him no he's gonna turn around Joshua Gamer Pro Gamer is gonna hold the backside flank Abraham is gonna make things interesting here 30th they're gonna push out in full force and Pro Gamer is gonna go backtrack and take the point and now Abraham and Cuban bread great name are on the point Ooh, houses going down everywhere and it looks like there's going to be a double cap here, but for 30th, as the point taken back on B did not happen, and they all left C. No, actually, they didn't. This is close. Right now, it's in the way of 30th in red, Rebel in blue, as you can see. But initially, Rebel had the move to push. And they're going to just be very comfortable right now and hold C or B and A. Rebel need to pour strategically into everywhere from Charlie, but they might not be able to. Going with two snipers looks like it might have backfired here. I wish I could get a little higher for you folks, but sadly I cannot. And that's going to be a long distance kill on Abraham, the other sniper, in the house on C. Now 30th need to be weary because they might have to push somebody to Bravo because it looks like Cuban bread is going. But they also do get the double cap still. Oh, no. They will hold the triple cap. House going down. Wasn't sure if there was somebody we couldn't see. But B is going to be overrun here by Rebel who finally made a breakthrough. And that was a very strategic gain there to get something back. Cup of Joe spawning in the absolute middle of nowhere, Phil. I apologize for the loud planes in the background there. Now Cup of Joe is running and, ooh, it looks like the sniper is going to come in handy here. Oh, a Craig Johansson. I believe that is banned. I'm just going to double check the list because I do believe that is banned. Double checking. Meanwhile, oh, and they just get absolutely slaughtered coming out of Bravo. And now it's Mexi Bean is pushing into the backside and getting what they didn't get in the initial push out from Rebel. That strategically backfired. And again, people spawning over here. This is a very weird spawn situation. All right, let's bring you to the front of the house. No, we are not in a restaurant. Oof. That was an unlucky missed grenade there. And 30th just run straight through Bravo. That was great strategy. Just to overload the middle. And from both sides. And now. Oh, oh. Brittles missed the players. Ran right by him. Perfectly concealed in the bush. Thick Angles needs to survive here. Oh, it is a full squad now, and it's two on four. We got multiple battles happening here, folks. Thick Angles going down. B might be taken back almost simultaneously. Nobody's made a play for C yet. They could have a triple cap if they can get out of this situation that they've found themselves in. As I said, going with two snipers initially was not a great push. And we got the wine bo broken wine bottle being used. That's always a fun dog tag there for Battlefield 1. Great to see they brought it back as a non-easter egg this time, though. Pogo up on the roof. And whatever he doesn't get, Duck is getting... Duck is hunting and hunting. Wow. Oh, and a 
brilliant back up play by Brittle to help Duck out. And they're just now looking for the rest of Rebel. And Duck is going to go see what's going on. And that is another weird spawn on Alpha here. There is no spawn being and no one is cheating. And it looks like a triple cap now from 30th, although we do have a good little battle. Oh, I'm sorry about that, folks. Going on here. And it looks like Rebel are going to be... No. Oh, wait, Verloon. Verloon has moved out. And it looks like they will get B back. And Cup of Joe has smartly spawned on to C with a little help from Thick Ankles, his best friend. And that is a brilliant strategic spawn there. And Thick Ankles gets one. Will he get the second in time? Yes, he will. They will get B back. They will hold the push on C. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will wrap it up. That was a very interesting strategic game there. It's all about who gets B initially. Not even what side you start. It's just who holds it well enough. And here we go, Aras. Aras is all about holding your home point and holding a second cap. The Krag is actually not a banned weapon. I've just double checked. I could have sworn it was, but apparently it's not. So here we go. Round one went to 30th. Let's see if round two will be closer. As 30th did a very good job maintaining the point. This is one. This is Bravo. And this is the other. I forget which sides are which on this map. 24-7. Thirtieth are spawning on the left, and that means that we've got Rebel in red on the right. Here we go. The strategy on this map is: Do you bring a tank out, or do you not bring a tank out? And it looks like everybody from Rebel went to Charlie. Oh, that might backfire. No, they didn't. They're all pushing B. And it looks like 30th did pull out their tank. Rebel did not.
And we've got a battle for B. Tank not rushing up, and now it might. 30 has held the initial push very well, but will they be able to hold the second? Doc in a perfect position there. That was well played. And 30 is getting up front and close. It was thick angles with the triple kill from the stag 44. But now we got Pro Gamer trying to make a move on the flank and Smexy Bean goes down. And it looks like we are going to have Patton versus Rommel again here. For Loon in the tank. And it's versus our old bud. Bozard, sorry, I got a text message that completely threw me off, and that was a terrible miss there. Ooh, and Valorum, <laughs> this is great. Both tanks have support. This is going to be interesting. Oh, and Valrune making a heavy play and going to leave Crusader out in the open. Botar backing up and not sure if he can turn the turret at this point. Botar looking like he might go down. Rebel trying to push out of Charlie. We've got Crusader trying to... Wasn't sure if somebody spawned on him. Crusader trying to shoot the machine gun up at Poop for Cats. This is a great tank battle. Meanwhile, 30 is just holding a very high line. And Rebel finally managed to kill Duck. I don't think the LS LSD 26 is legal. But again, I'm gonna double check. And this tank battle is still ongoing. 30 is now making a move. Oh, we're having a gunfight, and we're also having a tank fight all at the same time. And super cool for cats get the kill. Neither tank given an inch. Super cool cats go down. Oh, and Verloon is taken out with a little help there from thick angles. Well, he made his ankle stay there to get across, and now Bozart is having a crazy moment trying to keep himself alive. He's on a triple. Botar not playing around with this tank tonight. That was insane. And now we're going to have Brittle on. Oh, Brittle got him. No, and it looks like that is a legal gun. I do apologize. I could have sworn that gun was banned. I guess it was just from the other league that I was looking at. And Rebel are finding it hard pressed to get out of their own spawn area. And Verloon going with the sniper rifle. Not sure it's going to work again. And Cuban Bread, who did have a nice flank going on, just got dropped had no backup but it looks like rebel has made a breakthrough now if they remember brittle is there on the wall they might get him and he gets one and this is just going to be oh and brittle gets two i think brittle's on like a five or six kill streak thick ankles is 10 and oh unbelievable Oh my god, and Brittle gets another. 
Brittle is seven and oh, oh my word. That does not shock me after that quad there. But the tank on tank warfare was intense. The Enfield actually coming in handy and Rebel are finally able to make some sort of breakthrough. Smoke not particularly used well though. I don't understand that at all. Nobody picking up Crusader and Rebel going with two snipers. I've not ever seen that in comp. And the sec the first sniper is just getting killed and Abraham is finally down. Although he looks like he did get the revive. No, he did not. I guess he was killed. Yeah, thick angles got both of them almost simultaneously. And here comes Last Crusader. The tank is back. Oh, and he's hit near instantly in the back of the tank. And they're going to track him down. Bozar, meanwhile, keeping him locked inside. And, ooh. Big angles. Cup of Joe with the dynamite. Smexy Bean getting thick angles back up with the sacrifice. And it looks like Bozart is holding no punches. He does not care how close they are. He's got help and he knows it. That man has got some big cojones tonight. He wants this win. And you can just tell. This is going to go the way of 30th. And it looks like Check Duck is going to get Duck a revive. Bozart having to now finally, after a good seven, eight minutes, back up to the stone wall. And Duck goes down, and they're not going to be able to revive him, possibly. But here comes Cup of Joe. No, Cup of Joe gets taken out. We've got smoke being used on the point, And I don't understand why Rebel just retreated there. 20, Soldier 25. And Rebel just called out in the open. One and only, not really making much of a difference. Thick angles getting a double there. And here comes Rogue One, another different tanker. But it's not going to matter. Pogo went 10 and 0. 10 and 0 for Brittle. And 16 and 1 for Thick Angles. That was just one. Heck of a dominating performance in that round. They came out early on fire with a plan and it held true to itself. That was well done by 30th, but credit to Rebel. They did not give up and they just kept trying. Albeit it didn't make much of a difference having two snipers. Neither one being very effective from distant. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is Rotterdam. This is one point over here. This is B. I believe this is Alpha. There's actually um, a lot of people don't spawn here, but XGLN tried to give 30th the last time out a crazy, crazy ride. All of them spawning Riverside, and it nearly paid off. When I say nearly, I mean it was absolutely insane. It is now 2-0 to 30th. They're all spawning in. And here we go. Nobody going for Alpha. Rebels made a mistake. Only four people going. Five people now for Rebel. And they're going with a sniper yet again. I do not understand this strategy here. 
as it's clearly not worked so far. I don't know what the thinking is. Rebel first to the point, but can they hold it? That'll be the question of the moment. And they hold it initially, which is a good thing for them. We've got bayonets going. We've got incineraries. We've got guns galore. This is great stuff. But it looks like 30th have pushed through. I didn't even know Abraham was there. And now 30th have multiple bogeys spawn in on the point, and I'm going to try to give you a better view of what is going on. It looks like 30th have pushed Rebel back to the left side, and Rebel are just holding on now. Having the sniper initially worked, but now it's just the left to be a spawn oh and thick angles holding the left flank there this is quite an interesting strategy nobody actually spawning in for rebel it's like as soon as they go down they're just giving up and i don't understand that at all it says they're all there but i don't see a single one of them I've only got five people on the game spawned in currently for Rebel. Pogo faint completely bored out of their mind. Oh, and the one and only gets a broken bottle dog tag. But gets taken down instantly. And here we go. Now there's six people up. Can this be an initial push? Cup of Joe. Oh, Smexy Bean. Getting the triple cup of Joe trying to keep him cover fire. Somebody's in there. It's Abraham in the smoke trying to get the revive. Gets one, gets two. 30th holding the line well. Smexy Bean going for the triple cap and going for it early. Rebel came out strong initially, but 30th were ready. Oh, and down goes Smexy Bean. One and only gets taken out of simultaneously. 30th high line is working very well for them tonight. And the double team there takes out both. And now we've got Smexy Bean back in pushing up with Cup of Joe. Weirdly, Rebel have not spawned anybody Riverside. They're all spawning on home base Alpha side. Pogo holding his part, not pushing up to make sure Cup of Joe doesn't get taken out. And Cup of Joe is going to go for the bridge bomb and destroy it like it's saving Private Ryan. Smart play here by Cup of Joe. This is 30th strategy, and they're sticking with it. Totally different from last week, what we saw with XLGN and how they spawn everybody river. That game was very close the entire round. 30th are holding an extremely high line now with mostly medics in support class. And it's working for him. Pogo might want to start to consider moving inwards. Oh, Cuban bread. Never mind. Cuban bread is making a go at it. And won't get out the water. Abraham making a run for A as well, and the triple death on the right side is going to happen. Now we're going to bring you this, ladies and gentlemen. Pogo not sure where to go, and they're just all streaming through, getting slaughtered there. Brittle trying to move. Botard spawning back in. Ooh, that was a missed grenade by inches. Oh, and Cuban Bread made it to B, but he's going to get swamped from every direction. And Abraham gets it first. The triple cap is forthcoming, and as long as they can get these three off the side of the river, that'll be game, set, and match, but it looks like Rebel are not having it. 
Rebel, give them credit. They are still rebelling here. Living up to their word, but they don't realize what's about to happen. An exchange, a kill. Hogo trying to hold the line and Brittle there to support him with the support class. And that was a brilliant play by Botar. This one is over, folks. Unless there is somebody across the river I cannot see. This one is over. Nope, Duck has made sure that there is nobody here. But we're going to watch it from this side. Oh, that is a brilliant panther from across the river. My cup of joe. Oh, and it looks like there are people at Charlie. I never saw them make it across. Now 30th at the backtrack, because now they have to spawn at Charlie. What a play by Rebel. Not giving up there and getting the point from the triple cap. But they just got slaughtered all at the same point. Brittle finally gets killed. I think Brittle, what, yeah, Brittle was 7 and 0 oh there, I believe. Doc is trying to hunt some more. Gets, gets one. Botar go down, and now we've got a little mini battle on Charlie. Cuban bread going for B. He's trying to change the momentum. It might be too little, too late. But if he can cap Bravo, then that'll be that. And he might get it. Everybody on C for 30th is down. Valander Vilorn is so confused and trigger happy. He's just shooting at everything right now. And this is a very interesting move from Rebel. Super cool. Cats missed the player completely. is get beat back and that is all she wrote rebel attempting to come back and I believe they might have been using smoke just right at the end it is 3 0 to 30 This is Hamada. Here. Middle of this. And pretty much almost all of this except for up top on the left. So this will be interesting. If Rebel can win this one, they might get some momentum in the last four. It's 3-0 to 30th right now. 30th will be starting on the left on the bridge side. And that means Rebel will have the clicker push.
Here we go. 30 is actually beat Rebel out. We're gonna get another take battle. Oh, sorry, my controller would not push back. That was very odd. Rebel trying to make a play, and it's just not working out for them right now. And Rebel are just all over the place. Complete confusion. Tank hitting them from behind. This is not going to go their way if they can't make a play to A. Bozard with the brilliant positioning. And they have pulled a sniper out again. I'm not sure what that thinking is. I I've never seen two snipers in a comp game ever. Even in Battlefield 1. I really do not get this thought process. I'm sure there's some strategy behind it. Smexy Bean getting the dog tag with the lever pipe. Oof. And Smexy Bean getting the sniper. But Rebel have all spawned there. But here comes Thick or Duck and Cup of Joe. I was expecting Thick Ankles, but apparently not. But the tank is up. Botard is up. We're going to have a push out. One and only goes down. Cuban Brent is going to get him up under complete, constant, continuous fire. Oof, the Crusader does finally get a kill in that tank. Abraham making a push. One and only trying to snipe. Botard's looking for him. The scenic route is going to be gone to Abram, but Cup of Joe is aware of it. But Abram has a little help from Cuban Bread. Can Cup of Joe get him both? And Cup of Joe does get one. Smexy Bean going off still. Cup of Joe not sure where Abram is going. And Papa Joe runs him down and gets him. Or I should say tracks him down as he's not in a tank. Now they're double checking. Make sure nobody else is there. And there clearly isn't. They just haven't figured that out yet. Rebel are holding C. Botard pushing up just to let him know he can take it anytime he wants. Botard is not playing around tonight. And the one and only still yet to register a shot. Or at least a kill in any way. And we've got Last Crusader getting another kill in the tank. Oh, and Abram goes down the mountainside. Man, Bozard hit him hard. Abram finally makes it down the mountain. It'd be funny if his name was Moses. But it looks like Cuban Bread is pushed B, but gets taken out instantly. Oh, and a really weird late spawn, but it doesn't make a difference. And Botar getting the kill, pushing up heavy. Let him know he's still there. B is back in control. 
of 30th. And here are the two snipers again. I really do not understand this from a strategic point of view. Because neither of them have any sort of registered kill. And the one and only goes down instantly. And now Abraham is having to go back and rev his sniper. And Last Crusader is sniping as well. They've got three snipers up and nobody doing a thing. Four snipers up. I've never seen this in a comp match before. This is insane. Four snipers and not one of them would have registered sniper kill. Last Crusader's only got three kills from the tank. Boats are getting a kill again. The medic is down. Rebel just trying to find some sort of place to push through. And they might get it on the left. No super cool for cats. Says otherwise. What a statement here by 30th. I, I just don't understand. And they're still going with snipers. They are. I don't get this at all. This is absolutely crazy to see. Thick Angle is probably bored out of his mind right now. And Verloon is up in the tank. We're going to switch to this view. And Verloon is going to go down. There's no way Verloon makes it out of this. And Verloon has abandoned the tank. In a comp match, I've never seen anything like it. Four snipers and an abandoned tank. It is over. They are very lucky they've gotten four point, uh, tickets. Or this could have been a horrible situation. Worse than what it was. That was insane. Rebel just all over the place. Completely confused. Communication broke down. Four snipers. Nobody pushing for the home point. Just spread out. A 30th hold the high line again. It's 4-0. It is over for the first four. We got three more for you though. So stay tuned with me. And I will continue to keep this stream a going. This is Falage Felige. Eagle Pass is a very important role on the B side of Eagle Pass. If you have a high line, it might work depending on how many people they bring at you from the other side. This is the flag of Alpha, I believe, off the top of my head. I'm very tired tonight. I do apologize, folks. This is the other home point. It's over here. And this is Bravo, the middle of it here. From sandbag to sandbag. Rebel are going to stick this out. Everybody to them. Not sure why the one and only Rebel tags are all cap, but we'll just go with it. Mm, conversation sake. Well, it looks like 30th are going to get the shorter run to be. Well, there's no actual real shorter run, honestly. Because Rebel can't run through here anymore. Because Dice and all its wisdom decide to close that off and close the other pass off. So, I mean, I get it. It's not dominations. But we'll see who goes to what side. Will Rebel commit? And again, they're all pausing at the home point. I don't... That is crazy. Cap it faster. Yes, I get it. And nobody. Crusader is holding in the craziest position. Oh, we're going to have a war on Eagle Pass, folks. They all went to Eagle Pass. And there's another sniper. I think that's all the one and only plays. And they just get completely slaughtered. There needs to be some sort of communication for Doc and Brito. And it looks like there's going to be... As Brittle's moving up, and unbelievable. Rebel just walked into the slaughter that was 30th support players. 
ready for him on the high line and eagle bound. And now Rebel are just going to seem seemingly sit back for no reason. This is going to be a triple cap quickly. I'll be very surprised if it is not. Panzers and dynamite and grenades going off. Smoke going off and Rebel look like they're not going to try and push. No, wait, I spoke too soon. They are going to try and push. But it's not going to get them anywhere. Highline coming in handy for 30th tonight. Unbelievable. And as I thought, and one and only still going with a sniper rifle, not trying to play assault. Oof, and Verloom doesn't even get out of the point. One and only in Rogue do. One and only gets a Ross rifle kill at point blank range. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, one and only making a play and makes it well. Indigenous Duck and Birdo are going to start to move up here because they're getting communication. They're seeing a gun battle and they won part of it. Rogue one with the sniper rifle and 30th are in complete control of this game. This particular round, I should say. I believe the MG is is banned. I'm going to double check that again. And it looks like Rebel are going to try to make a push here. Yes, MG42 is banned. And Rebel and one and only gets another with the pistol revolver. But gets taken down. And here they come. They've got two snipers. We're going to look at it from their point of view just to see what the strategy thing might be. Love that airplane sound. Indigenous up on the roof. Daring them to shoot at him. They've got C back, but it's, they can't get out of it. And that was a brilliant drop of health there. Oh, AG boys rifle is used. And that's it. God. Thirtieth still in complete control. Banned weapons being used and is it all oh, thick angles is pulled out the sniper rifle. Uh oh, this one might be over, folks. Thick angles is pissed. And I do not blame him and and incendious duck already getting the kill. Thick angles. Oh my word. Thick angles is not having it. And the Lee Enfield from Duck with the double. Duck is hunting and he means business. And the AT Boys rifle, I believe, is still being used. Unbelievable. Thick Angle's getting one. And they're going to try and triple cap here. 
Albeit this one's already all but over and they are going to get the triple cap. I don't understand why they're just spawning. I don't get this strategy at all. Smexy Bean and Cup of Joe and Thick and the whole crew just running through everyone on that point with a huge push. And <laughs> Lee Enfield being used again. Rogue One didn't even get out of his point. I'm only laughing because he used two band weapons and it didn't help them whatsoever. Oh, and a Panther from Verloon. Surprised it wasn't a peon at this point. In my Johnny Depp, Pirates of the Caribbean voice, you know, I've expected it. And here come Rebel with three snipers. Rebel using smoke to try to take back Charlie. I don't think, oh, and it didn't work. Oh, and a flare is out. Flare out. There is a flare out. Unbelievable! Three banned weapons by Rebel being used. That is terrible. And it'll go the way of 30th again. Well, this is Al Sudan. This little hut right here is. Oh, oh, come on now. That's what I was trying to do, and it would not let me. This is Alpha. This is Bravo. And this is Charlie. Here we go. Rebel will get, <clears throat> excuse me, the right side. 30th will get the L, and it looks like Rebel have two players of left. Uh, and two players, and they're still going with, oh, I don't get it. Well, they've lost two players. Oh, and they've used the spawn beacon. Spawn beacon used. Spawn beacon used. I don't believe it. Oh my, I'm not surprised at this point. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Uh, I do apologize for the viewers, and I also apologize for the league. I, I've never seen anything quite like this.
And that's it. Rebel. Oh. Well, it looks like two of them are going to live. I'm completely shocked. And he gets killed there. I, I don't even know what Pro Gamer Josh is doing. He's just literally laying here. That that's just that is just horrible. I I do apologize again on behalf of the lead. Oh my god, shotgun used. That's crazy. Th this, I, I am true. I honestly don't even want to record any more of this. Uh, I really don't. They're playing with six people. Shockingly, two green berries or randoms haven't gotten into the server yet. I'm surprised they haven't even whipped out the freaking AT boys rifle at this point, honestly. This, this is just... I, I apologize on behalf of the league at 2.30th. This is... This is not what you want to see here. Really not. Oof. And they walked right into that ambush. Here they come again. Oh, I did. This is over, folks. I don't even know if 30th are gonna go another round. I, I, I just can't believe I'm witnessing this. Honestly, that's horrible. But the one and only not really doing a thing. And they're gonna go with four snipers and a shotgun prick. Oh, and there's the AT boys rifle. I called it, ladies and gentlemen. I called it, and it doesn't even make a difference because it is well over. Unbelievable, shocking scenes here from one platoon, and I don't mean 30th. That is just, we, we hate to see this. We got two more, one more after this, folks. This is devastation. I don't even know if Rebel are still staying in. Oh, and it looks like it's over. I, I do apologize again. I, I just I, I'm in complete another freaking shock.
Uh, they're switching sides, so I don't even know if we're gonna have this next round. This is just th this this is just bad. Rebel are starting here. And it just it's it's over. It's well over. This round will be a burn around, ladies and gentlemen. And they're still going with a sniper. That's all I gotta say. And we have the league. I apologize. This is not what we want to see. And they're just gonna sit. Yeah, because it's a burn round. That's right. I was gonna say. And the rebel need to all. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna watch these idiots kill each other. Great viewing for everybody else. Just want to zoom in on the fact that there is a spawn beacon being used. Again. And a shotgun. This, this is just... This is just... I apologize. I, I can't do anything else but... They should just forfeit the last two rounds at this point. It's it's honestly embarrassing. And that's it. It looks like it is over because every member of Rebel except for two or four have left. I'm gonna stick with it until I get official word just to keep the stream alive. But that's just. Actually, there's one, two, three, four, five. Three on one side, three on the other. There's six guys.
right, folks, it looks like they're still going to try to get these last two rounds in, even though now there's, you know, clearly a Randy, which is quite and ridiculous. Honestly, at this point, I don't get why we need to play the last two rounds. got two more for you. <sighs> this, this is just... 30th on one side, all rebel and a random on the other. I don't get why the two left in the first place and then came back. I don't get it, but I'm not them. We'll see what happens. I am not in contact with them, and that is my choice, and you can obviously see why. Oh, well, we are going to play two more rounds. They they left, they came back, they made up their minds, they didn't. It's like I'm watching the Italians in World War II. I'm just trying to make light of the entire situation. I don't know how else to do that. That is a home point. That is B. And that is a home point. I'm just going to sit here. And let the action speak for itself. You know, I'm going to give you the better view. And Rebel are still going with multiple snipers. Oh, I really don't understand this thought process, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, good luck to both sides. May the best side win. The league leader is already been made aware of the entire situation and only four of them spawn in I j I just don't get it oh, here comes number five now we lost another rebel this is just yeah, I don't I apologize again on behalf of the league we hate to see this Ooh, somebody done made it through. No, they did not. Somebody got killed. Oh, that was interesting to see people get killed in the smoke. I'm going to sit right here. This will be over quickly, hopefully. It's Maxi Bean going for the triple cap. Oh, it's Maxi Bean not going to get the triple cap. But Thick Angles might just get the triple cap. And both hard blown himself up because he's bored. Oh my gosh, you're going to really spawn in with a sniper rifle. And that's why I'm saying that. And we've lost another. Oh, it's a Randy that disappeared. So it's just 8 on 6 at this point. It, it, this round's over. If they get any sort of point from this round, I'll be the most shocked human. On the planet in that moment. One and only going for a sniper kill. Pogo and Brittle just going to hold back. Smart play. Everybody spawning in with sniper rifles. This is just... Well, everybody for Rebel, I should say. 
Again, on behalf of the league, I do apologize. Oof. This is just... This is duck work for duck. He's duck hunting and he's not taking no kill for an answer. I'm going to bring you close to the action. I'm waiting for the AT boys rifle. I'm honestly surprised it hasn't been brought out yet. There goes thick ankles making a thick ankle thinner. And the AT boys rifle, if it was in the hands of our loom, isn't even going to be used. <laughs> Smexy beam with the Spexy slide. Oh, one and only trying to duck for cover there. Lewis guns galore going off. And two snipers just sitting in the back, not even able to do much. Three snipers. One goes down. Make that two again. Oof, grenade missed. But the kill is thick ankles. Or actually, no, the kills is ducks again. Grenades going off. I'm not sure if they're friendly or not. No, they're friendly. Aquarium, I, he's literally laying back here, and you literally cannot see anybody except the person to the left, the two people to the left, and the person up top. Ooh, and Vernon actually manages to buy a kill. I am the most shocked human being on the planet. Smoke grenades going off. Balloon going to the right, gonna try and get thick angles. It's not gonna happen. At all. Not even close. And this is gonna be just an absolute slaughter. Not sure why we are still playing these last two rounds. The one in Oakland is he doing? Barely made it back in bounds. And he's going to get stopped, uh, and that's it. He's out of bounds, and he's going to die very quickly. And the three that spawn in, one is left, and he gets just completely smashed by a full squad. Not sure who we can even see from that position. Oh, you can see if... Okay, fair enough. You can see... Uh, but he's using an automatic. Oof. This is just. I again, I apologize on behalf of the league. I can't apologize enough. This is just a slaughter outright. One more round to go, folks. It'll be over quick. I can promise you that. All these grenades and no actual grenade kills. And that's it. One in ten. Another rebel left. Every person on 30th didn't take a death. That was insane. I'd have thought somebody got one or two deaths there. But I guess the revives did work out well for them. And that is just very bad for the other And we are going to end up with Marasa as the last map because it was the first map. And this should be very quick indeed if it is now 8 on 5. Even with Randy, though, unless somebody is a god and reincarnated as a human being that's a gamer. And this should be over quickly. I don't even know why we're playing this round. This is just bad. They've already cheated. It, it's it's going to be a slaughter again. They're going to go with at least four snipers. <sighs> Home point here. Middle point here. Home point here.
30 is on the right. Ooh, looks like Rebel. Oh, and he's got a random spawning in. Two randoms. Here we go. 30 is just coming out of the gates. Yeah, this is pretty pointless at this point. I I'm I've run out of words to make puns now. One and only still swearing by the sniper rifle. And somehow gonna get inbounds from out of bounds and just get slaughtered there. I feel bad for the Randys that have oh, we got a spawn beacon. Just so that's clear. This is just oh. <coughs> Apologize for the coughing, folks. Mm, excuse me again. And they can't. I, I just feel bad for Randy's that. into this absolute slaughter. And this... Oh my word. Another spawn be at, at this point it doesn't even matter, but you don't want that reputation. Really don't. That's all I gotta say. They've gotten Z back with the little help of their spawn beacon. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I just, I just have to sit back and, and laugh at how bad this actually all is. And 30 has been completely cool, having resorted to cheating themselves. Just playing like it's oof. And that was a brilliant sniper shot. Oh no, it wasn't actually. I thought it was. Trying to let you guys see what's going on right here. Well, the one and only got a shot up, but it was so far off the mark, it might as well not even shot it. Oh, wow, so there's fog on this map. That's actually quite interesting. And a third. Oh, this is absurd. This is really absurd at this point. This is just beyond absurd. 
and we can't bring you any of the action. And even from down low, it's just foggy as F. Shotgun being used by the Randy. And this is all over, really. Not even trying to push Bravo. They, they were just completely, you know, nowhere to go. They, they're so stretched out. They're just spawning anywhere. Oh, and they get Bravo. Why would you even? Paul smoking on this map at this point in time. It's all over. That's it. It is it is all over. It's so spread out. Oh, thick ankles going to work with the SF. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely it. And congratulations to 30th on winning all seven and not cheating. That's it, folks. I believe this one is officially over. That was very horrible to watch. <sighs> oh, thirtieth are still in the lobby, though. And that's it, folks. It is all over.
I hope you all enjoyed the stream. It is all over. 30th of one all seven round. And that's it. Have a good night.